Hi, my name is Morley and welcome to Chair Yoga. So all you need for this class is grippy socks or a yoga mat or a rug so that your chair doesn't slide. And as you can see, I have a folding metal chair with no arms that works just fine. Um, a dining room chair also works. So let's find a comfy seat, bringing your back all the way against the back of your chair. <sighs> and let's start our class by making sure our feet are firmly comfortable on the ground. Close your eyes if it feels okay, or look downcast, just down towards the floor. Start to notice your body, feeling your bum on your chair, feeling your back against your chair. Noticing your clothing as it sits on your skin. Noticing the temperature of the room. And then start to bring your awareness to your emotional body. Just noticing how you're feeling today. Maybe you're anxious, maybe you're tired, maybe you're joyful, maybe you feel all three. Whatever you're feeling, just let your body talk to you and listen. Now we're gonna move on to the physical body. Noticing as you scan your body from your head to your toes, the front of your body, back of your body, and even the left and right sides. Notice how your body is physically feeling today. Noticing where you're feeling achy, where you're feeling stiff, and even where you're feeling loose and open. Not trying to change anything that you're feeling, just simply observing. And then we'll move on to the breath. Becoming aware of your breath now. Noticing the qualities of your breath as you inhale and exhale. Noticing the temperature of your inhales and exhales as you inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. If inhaling and exhaling through the nose and through the mouth feels good for you, do that. Otherwise, inhale and exhale however feels best for your body in this very moment. Noticing now as you inhale, breathing all the way into your belly, bringing your hands to your belly, noticing your belly rise as you inhale. Chest fills up with air. Notice your belly soften. As you exhale, shoulders relax. So start to smooth out your breath. And by that, I mean even inhales and exhales without counting. So when you inhale, the belly fills up. When you exhale, the belly softens and the shoulders relax. While you're here breathing, Set an intention for your class today. It can be a word or a phrase. 
I'll give you some options in case you are struggling to find an intention on your own. So maybe your intention is mindfulness. Maybe it's breathing. Maybe it's fluidity. Maybe it's being present. Whatever it is, if it needs to change throughout our practice today, that's okay. Take a moment to notice how you feel now. Now that we've focused on the body and the breath. Now that we've focused on how we're feeling emotionally. So slowly blinking your eyes open if they were closed. If you were looking down towards the floor, slowly start to gaze out in front of you. Maybe a smile comes across your face. And then I'd like you to slowly scoot yourself up towards the edge of your chair. And then we're going to work on some breath work. So making sure your feet are out in front of you, making sure that you're sitting up tall like you're looking over a fence. So coming out, lifting up from the lower body. So we're going to work on uh, box breathing today. So if you think about a box, we're going to inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. So we're going to try to inhale for a count of three, exhale for a count of three, inhale for a count of three, and closing off the box, exhale for a count of three. So we'll try that for five breaths and see how we feel. So let's start with a cleansing breath before we begin our box breathing. So when you're ready, sitting up tall again, inhale, exhale, big sigh. Again, inhale, exhale, big sigh. Last time, inhale, exhale, big sigh. Okay, moving on, inhale for three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Keep breathing, inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Three more rounds of this breath, inhaling and exhaling. Stay for more rounds of breath if you'd like to, and then join me when you're ready. So let's clear the breath out, inhaling through the nose, exhale. I'm gonna take a moment here, putting one hand over the other, over your heart, noticing any subtle changes you may have felt. And then when you're ready, we'll move on. So we'll start with walking up and down the back of the chair. Sorry, the base of the chair. So scooting your body back, making contact with the back of the chair, and then scooting the body forwards. I have my hands on the sides of the chair. You can also have your hands on your thighs if that feels better.
often these movements can be slight or they can be a little bit dramatic, lifting the leg up higher if that feels accessible for you. All right, finding yourself back in the middle of your chair. We're gonna talk really quickly about a neutral spine and you'll hear me ask you to find your neutral spine throughout the course of the class. So for a neutral spine, think about pushing your feet into the ground so your legs are active. Think about drawing the abdomen in and up as you're sitting up tall. And then also think about trying to look over a fence. So when I say looking over a fence, I'm making sure that my chin is parallel to the ground. So I'm not trying to look up and over. I'm trying to keep my spine elongated by drawing the body up. Okay, so moving on. Find your neutral spine. Keeping the foot active, we're gonna roll out the left ankle a few times. Whatever feels good for you. And then we'll roll the ankle inwards. Being very mindful. Switching sides, moving on to the right side. And then heading in the opposite direction. Okay. Sending the left leg out long, always keeping a slight bend in the knee, pointing and flexing. And when you're ready, switch sides. Making sure that you're feeling an even weight distribution in your hips so you're not popping up to one side. And pointing and flexing again. I'll meet you back in the middle. Moving on to rock the boat. So think about lifting up the left and the right bottoms of the pelvis. Beautiful. Moving on, we'll head into windshield wipers. So bringing your, out, your feet out as wide as it's comfortable, bring the right foot down. So it's active on the floor, sending the, left, the right knee down, feeling a lovely stretch on the side of the leg, maybe on the inside too. And then switching to the left side. So the breath here is just breathing as you normally would, keeping that torso lengthened. Letting your hands slide along the chair to support you. All right, finding your center again. Finding that neutral spine. Okay, moving on, take an inhale. And as you exhale, lean off to one side, coming back through the middle, inhaling as you come around to the other side and up. Exhaling, keeping your elbows drawn in close to your body and either pushing into your thighs or the side of the chair. Let's head into the other direction. So take an inhale to lengthen, exhale. See if it feels good to let your back round. See if it feels good to have your hands on your thighs or on the sides of your chair. Slow, mindful movements. All right, bring those knees back in. We'll move on to cat cow. So feet are actively pushing into the ground or towards the edge of our chair now. Again, holding onto the sides or the thighs. So we're gonna take an inhale, stick the belly out and the chest out. Shoulders are back, look up as high as is comfortable for you. And then when you exhale, round the back, tuck the chin towards your chest. Inhale, lift and lengthen, looking up as high as it's comfortable. 
Exhaling all the way down, chin towards your chest. Three more. Coming back up to that neutral spine. Moving on to rolling out the wrists. If it feels better to have your hands hang down low, that's fine. If it feels better to have your hands in between your legs because it gives your forearms a place to rest, do that. And then sending our hands out in the opposite direction. Give that a shake. Okay, moving on. We're gonna grab, make the thumb and the pointer on the left hand touch, and then the thumb and the pointer on the right hand touch. So looking at your hands, if you'd like to, tap the thumb to the pointer, the thumb to the middle, thumb to the ring finger, thumb to the pinky. And then we're gonna travel backwards. Thumb to pinky, thumb to ring finger, thumb to middle finger, thumb to pointer finger. This time, try it with your eyes closed if you'd like. So thumb to pointer, thumb to middle finger, thumb to ring finger, thumb to pinky, and backwards. Thumb to pinky, thumb to ring finger, thumb to middle finger, Thumb to point your finger. Give that a shake. All right. So we're going to take the left hand, pushing it out like we're pushing into an imaginary wall. Make sure that this left shoulder is tucked back and you can have a bend in your elbow if you need to. Right hand's going to come around and grab the fingertips and part of the palm of the left hand, gently sending the fingers towards your head. Even breaths. Shake that out if you need to. And we're gonna take the same hand, extend the fingertips down towards the ground. Having a micro bend in the elbow, gently grab the back of the hand. Warming up all of those tiny muscles. Give that a shake and then we'll move on to the right side. So extending the right hand long, drawing the shoulders in line, grabbing the fingertips, gently applying pressure, sending the fingers towards the head, towards the ceiling, whatever is accessible for you. Shaking it out again. Fingertips are down, shoulder is tucked back and down. Gently grabbing the outside, the back of the hand. So while we're moving today, shake that out. I do, um, I have one request, one expectation. The only expectation I have is that you listen to your body and do what is safe and kind for your body. So while we're moving today, I will show you as many variations or options um, for poses as I can. And I'd like you to do what works for you which may mean that you don't look like what I'm doing, and that's great. If you have an alternative that works for you that I haven't delivered, please do what works for your body. Okay, so moving on, let's get those shoulders moving. So rolling shoulders back and down. So as you're here, maybe it feels good to alternate shoulders, getting in a little bit of a twist. Sliding the hands up and down the thighs or holding on to the chair if that's best for you. And then when you're ready, start to send the shoulders forward. So rounding, think about your shoulders traveling in a circle. actively sending them away from your ears. 
And then notice if it feels good to add in alternating shoulder rolls. Meet you back in the center. Moving on. So as you can tell, we're working from the feet all the way up today. So moving on, let's take an inhale to lengthen the torso. As we exhale, we're going to twist from the lower, middle, and upper body off to the left. So as you can see, my head is staying in line. Inhale back to the center. Exhaling as I twist off to the right. Inhaling back through the center. Exhaling off to the left. Now, see if it feels good to keep moving at this pace, or if you're feeling a little tight and you wanna take a few breaths in the twist on either side. See if you can relax your body as you enter the twist. I'll meet you back in the center. Moving on to the neck. So when you're ready, again, recentering. So throughout the practice, I'll also, also ask you to recenter because sometimes we get a little stiff. So that might look like walking up and down the chair a few times. That might look like doing some rock the boats and just recentering. So lengthening the spine. When you're ready, take an inhale. Look up as high as it's comfortable for you. And as you exhale, bring your chin towards your chest. So keeping this movement going, or maybe it feels good to pause and take a few breaths looking up or down as you move. Notice what parts of your body you can relax that you're not using. For instance, your jaw is not being used right now. See if you can relax your jaw, that space between your eyebrows. I'll meet you back in a neutral spine when you're ready. Okay, so take an inhale. Exhale, look off to the left. Inhaling back to the center. Exhaling as we look off to the right. Inhaling back to the center. Exhaling as we look off to the left. Keeping that abdomen engaged, so drawing the belly up and in. I'll meet you back in a neutral spine when you're ready. So continuing on, we're going to trace the perimeter of the room in front of you. So if you don't have a room in front of you, imagine a rectangle in front of you, just like when we practiced box breathing. So bring your attention to the left corner of the left upper corner of the room. Take an inhale as you breathe over to the top right corner. Exhale down to the bottom right corner. Inhale, the bottom of the rectangle to the bottom left corner. Inhale, up to the top left corner. Always listening to your body. So this is my second path. Gonna trace my final perimeter with this side of the head leading first. All right, so now we're gonna bring our attention to the top right corner of the room, inhaling to the top left corner, exhaling to the bottom left corner. 
Inhaling to the bottom right corner. And exhaling to the top right corner. Two more perimeter tracings. Okay, bringing your head back to a neutral spine. Seeing if you need to do a little wiggle, reset the spine and we'll move on. So sending your hands down by your sides. So you can bring the torso out, kind of arching the back. I'd like you to draw it in. So again, drawing the abdomen up and in, relaxing your shoulders. So when you're ready, we're going to inhale up as high as it's comfortable for you. Exhaling, pushing the palms together through heart center. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Now we're going to reverse that. So bringing the palms together, inhale as you push the palms up and overhead. Exhale, palms face the ground. Try to imagine touching the opposite walls with your fingertips. Catch your next inhale. And if this takes you a few inhales to get up to that Towards the ceiling, that's okay. If it takes you a few inhales and exhales to come on down towards the floor, that's okay. Listen to what your body needs. Last time. Hands up towards the ceiling. Fingertips pushing to opposite sides. Beautiful. Give that a shake. Moving on. So bringing your hands out in front of you. So my palms are touching. When you're ready, take an inhale, open up the arms. You can have a big bend in the elbows if you need to. Maybe you look up to the sky. Exhale, round the back, make your finger, your palms touch. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, roll your spine back up and take an exhale. All right, moving on. So coming towards the sides of the edge of your chair, we're gonna work on opening the side body up as we move. So we can start with our right hand on our hip and our left hand on the chair, pushing our feet actively into the ground. Take an inhale to lengthen. Exhale, bending off to the left side. Inhale to come back up. Left hands on the hip, right hands on the chair. Exhale, side body stretch. So stay here. And might also feel good to bring a hand on the shoulder, opening up the side body a little more if that's accessible. Inhaling, exhaling to lengthen. Another option might be as you're looking, stretching, maybe your gaze is towards the floor, adding a little stretch for the neck. Maybe it feels good to look towards the ceiling a little bit. One more time on each side. back through the center, readjust, recenter. Okay. So we're going to move on through a flow coming towards the edge of your chair again. So for most of the entire practice, your hands can either be on your thighs or hold onto the chair. Depends on what you need. Okay. So listening to your body when you're ready, 
I'm going to take an inhale, bring the hands up as high as it's comfortable. This feels good for my shoulders today. As I exhale, I'm going to bring my hands towards the chair, holding on. Take an inhale again. Exhale, hinge forward, so from the hips. Take three breaths, finding something to look at on the floor, a little dot, relaxing the neck. When you're ready, inhale, slowly coming up, bringing the hands overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. So notice if you need to widen your feet to make room. Notice if you have a belly, scoop it up and let it help you uh, move out of the way as you hinge forward. All right, so when you're ready, inhale your hands overhead. Exhale, hands through heart center. Forward fold. So now my hands have switched to my thighs. That feels better for me. My elbows are drawn in. I'm imagining a string lengthening my spine, starting at the crown of my head. When you're ready, inhale, slowly push yourself up, letting your hands walk up your thighs. Exhale, hands down. Last time, inhale. Exhale, pushing your palms together, hinging from the hips. Torso stays in one line. Three breaths. Inhale to push yourself up. Exhale your hands down by your sides. Okay. So we're going to add in a little bit more. Inhale your arms up as high as it's comfortable. Exhale, hinging at the hips. Maybe you come down to your forearms now. So I have my thigh pushing into my forearm and my forearm pushing into my thigh. I'm also wrapping one hand around a wrist and pushing my shoulders, keeping them active. So we're going to come into a halfway lift. So push yourself up slightly, lengthening through the torso. Take three breaths here. On your next inhale, Lengthen and come back down to that forward fold. Three more breaths. Making sure you have even weight distribution between your feet and the bottom on your seat. Inhale, walk your hands up. Exhale, hands down. Take a moment, see how you feel at any time if you want to stop. That's fine. You can always choose Shavasana at any point of our practice. It's also called corpse pose. And if you need to take a rest, maybe you just bring your back against the back of the chair. Maybe you scoot forward a little bit. Bring your hands to your heart. And just catch your breath. Maybe coming back to your intention, letting your body breathe on its own. And then whenever you feel ready, join us. So moving on, left foot is going to cross over the right knee. So whether that's a high cross or you have more range of motion down here, wherever you are is fine. Make sure that this top foot is flexed to protect the knee. So scooping that belly out of the way, take an inhale, shoulders are close to the ribs. Exhale, hinge forward. Making sure to find that sweet spot between a stretch and pain. We wanna avoid anything painful. So maybe that means sitting up a little bit taller. When you've taken three breaths, slowly bring the foot down. And we'll switch sides. Readjusting your seat as you need to. Flexing the right foot, scooping the belly out of the way. Take an inhale. Exhale as you lean forward. So your hands can come on your calf. They can hold onto the chair, whatever feels good. 
If it feels okay to have your back round, bring your chin towards your chest, that's great. If not, that's great too. When you're ready, slowly lengthen your spine as your head comes up. Draw that leg back down. And then move into windshield wipers if you need to, to release any sensations that you're feeling. And then I'll meet you back in the center. So let's try again. This time, we'll add some active movement in. So what we did before was static where we stayed in the stretch. So left foot is crossed. We're flexing the left foot, again, holding onto the chair, the thighs, or the calf. Take an inhale to lengthen. Exhaling as you hinge forward. Inhaling back up. Exhaling as you hinge forward. Take your time. Again, if it takes a few breaths to inhale up and down and exhale up and down, do that. Exhaling, inhaling back up, exhaling, let that left leg gently come down, switching off to the right, adjusting your seat, making sure the right foot is flexed. So as we're hinging forward, we want to have the same pressure pushing into the floor as we do here. So keep this foot as active as if it was pushing into the floor. Again, take an inhale to lengthen. Exhaling, lean forward, round the back and round the shoulders if it feels good. Inhaling to lift and lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhaling up, exhaling, hinge forward, inhaling to open back up, dropping that leg down if it feels good with care, rocking from side to side here. Ah, <sighs> okay. So moving on, extending the left leg as far as it's comfortable for you. See how it feels to come to the heel of the foot. So think about flexing the foot so the toes are towards the ceiling and the right foot is just as active. So I'm gonna take an inhale to lengthen. And as I exhale, I'm going to twist off to the left, lower, middle and upper back, gazing. So when I'm here, I'm going to relax the spine, relax the shoulders. Take three mindful breaths, finding that sweet spot for my neck too. So gazing over the shoulder as far as it's comfortable for you. Inhale to come back through the center. Keep the leg in the same position. Now we're gonna look off to the right. Relaxing your jaw, relaxing all the muscles in your face. Maybe that right hand travels along the outside of the chair. Let an inhale bring you back to the center. And then we'll switch to the opposite leg. So right leg has a bend in it. Make sure you're towards the front of your chair. Take an inhale to lengthen. And exhaling lower, middle, and upper back, making sure not to strain the shoulders or grip tightly. Relax. If you notice, my body just softened. Inhaling back through the center, lifting and lengthening. Exhaling as you twist off to the left. Lower, middle, and upper back. Maybe the hand that's extended comes inside the knee, relaxing the torso. Three breaths on this side. Inhale. 
Inhale yourself back to the center. Draw your feet down. <sighs> Take a moment to see how you're feeling. And then we're gonna add in some more twists with the hands. So if it feels better for your shoulders, your upper body to bring your feet out a little bit wider and bring your palms together, maybe they stay down here. Maybe they stay out in front of you. Maybe they stay close to you, okay? So what we're gonna do is make sure that our foundation is set. We're actively pushing our feet into the ground. Take an inhale and as you do that, you're gonna trace your left palm up the right arm, opening up, exhale, closing, letting the hands slide back down to meet. Inhale. Maybe you come across your chest and over to your shoulder, maybe not. Wherever you stop is just fine. So once you've gotten to three on one side, we're gonna take a breath. And then inhale, tracing the inside of the left arm. Exhaling back down, palms meet. Give that a shake, see how you feel. <sighs> so take a moment here to grab some water, readjust your seat. Okay. So we're gonna add an inside and an outside stretch to the thighs. So bringing the left foot out, okay, and the right foot, we're gonna come to the corner of our chair. So we're gonna set up for warrior one. Warrior one might look like this. I'm very actively pushing my feet into the ground. If you have the ability, you can take the right foot and come to the ball of the right foot, making sure you have even weight distribution in your feet. If this doesn't work for you, but you wanna stagger your feet, you can come back to the center. The left foot is forward a little bit, the right foot is back a little bit, and you're going to lift up out of your torso. Okay, so I'm gonna head off to the left. It's a little easier for me this way. Pushing my foot into the ground. So even weight distribution, I'm pushing into the ball of my right foot and the sole of my left foot, lengthening my torso. Find a gaze out in front of you. See if it feels good to push your palms together. So elbows are in. If it feels better to hold onto the chair gently, hands on the thighs, three breaths. Relax your jaw, relax your shoulders. When you're done with your third breath, bring your feet together. So you can scoot all the way off to the other side, heel toe the feet out, find out the width that feels good for you. Send the ball of the left foot back or the whole left leg back, but push into the ball of the left foot and the sole of the right foot or back to the middle if that feels a little more accessible for you. So right foot is forward, left foot is back. Figure out what that looks like for you. Maybe the feet need to widen and the legs need to open up, pushing in and out of the torso, okay? So when you're ready, hmm, take an inhale to lengthen, exhale. Three breaths here. Pushing into the seat in your chair, pushing your feet into the floor. And I'll meet you back in the center. Rocking from side to side. I'm gonna add some movement in with the legs. So coming back to 
to the left side. Take an inhale. Exhale, open up. Inhale. Exhale, open up. Inhale, another option that might feel good is goal posting your arms. Exhale, open up, extending long through those fingertips. And I'll meet you back on the other side. So getting those feet active wherever they need to be, making sure you're sturdy through your hips. Let's try goal post on this side. So palms are together, inhale to open up. Exhale to close. And then slowly bring your hands back down. Find your center, see if you need to rock the boat or wiggle out the hips. Okay, Whew. so moving on, let's come into tree pose. So we're gonna heel toe the foot out to the left again. Okay, adjust your seat. Think about drawing the left sole of the foot in so that it can rest on the chair leg. If it can't rest on the chair leg, just pushing actively with the toes and the ball of the foot into the ground. This right leg's going to come as close as you want it to. So your foot can be way out here, can be a little bit closer, whatever keeps you sturdy in your seat. So think about opening the legs up, actively pushing into the ball of the left foot, the sole of the right foot, finding that comfortable, sturdy seat. Okay, I'm gonna readjust myself, there we go. So pushing the palms together, lifting up out of the torso, find a focal point. Take three breaths. If your hands don't feel good here, they can rest on your thighs, they can gently hold on to the chair. Feeling that stretch on the inside and the outsides of the thighs. Taking a moment to rock the boat and then we'll switch sides. So I'm making my way up to the right side. I'm gonna heel toe the left foot out to where it feels good for my hips. And draw the right foot in, coming to the ball of the right foot. So my hips are sturdy. I'm gonna lengthen my torso, drawing my torso up and out of my seat. Maybe you wanna try airplane arms, bringing your hands down by your sides. Still very active through your fingertips. Three breaths. And when you're ready, slowly bring that foot down. Walk yourself back into the middle. Rocking from side to side. Okay. So for the last portion, we're going to come into eagle pose. We're just gonna work on the legs though, and we'll add in the arms as we move through it. So right leg's going to cross over the left, wherever it does is fine. Readjust, lift your belly, let it hang. So what we're going to do here is either flex the top foot point the top foot or floint a combo of both, okay? So again, I'm actively pushing through the top foot and actively pushing my foot into the ground. I'm squeezing my legs together. So let's try sitting here for a few breaths and then we'll add on. Interlace your fingers if you'd like underneath your knee, hold onto the chair, lengthening the torso, sitting up tall, three breaths.
And then when you're ready, switch sides. So if this is not working for you, another option, just like we did our forward fold, maybe you're here and you're actively pushing this leg into your right leg into your left leg and your left leg into your right leg. So creating all that tension right here. Try that on this side. Try that on both sides. So again, finding your seat, lifting your belly out of the way, flexing, pointing or pointing this top right foot, squeezing the legs together. Take an inhale. Three breaths, exhale. What parts of your body do you not need to have tense right now? Relax those. And then when you're ready, uncross. See what you need to do. Okay, so this time we have the idea down. We're gonna add in movement with our arms. So let's leave the legs alone. We're gonna take the left hand and the right hand and have the left arm, the left hand grab the right elbow and the right hand grab the left elbow, okay? So we're gonna inhale up and exhale down while we have our legs crossed. If this doesn't work for you and you just wanna work on the arms, inhaling up and exhaling down, that's fine, okay? Three on the left and three on the right. So let's set up. Cross the left leg over the right. We know the setup, keeping this foot active. So stay here. Do whatever option works for you. Left hand is going to come to the right elbow. Right hand's going to come to the left elbow. Maybe you're holding your forearms instead. Maybe you're just holding your wrists, whatever feels good. So start low, start out in front of you, wherever you are, inhale up as high as you'd like. And exhale down, keeping those legs tight. Inhale again. Exhaling down. And when you're ready, slowly with care, switch legs. Okay, so this time the right hand is going to grab the left elbow the left hand is going to grab the right elbow. So right hand is on top. Whenever you're ready, lengthen your torso, keeping that foot flexed. Inhale. Exhale. I'm going to widen because it feels better for my shoulders. So now I'm grabbing my forearms. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale, and exhale. All right, gently uncross. <sighs> so take a few moments now to grab some water, grab a blanket if you'd like to, to cover up your body or zip up a jacket that you might be wearing. So for the next few moments, we're going to take our time as we come to the end of our practice. So make sure you bring your back all the way against the back of your chair. Maybe you want to bring your chair against the wall so you can have a resting point for your head. Hands can be on your thighs, your heart, wherever you're going to find relaxation. Your legs can be out. You can have a little tuck to your spine. You can bring your feet out. Maybe you come to the soles of your feet. Lots of options here. Maybe it feels better to bring your feet out wide and knock your knees together. So take a moment to get yourself comfortable. And then we'll work together to relax the body. So closing your eyes when you're ready or keeping them downcast, looking towards the floor. Let any of the breath work go, returning to your natural breath on its own. Bring your awareness to the crown of your head, 
very top of your head. Relax the crown of your head. Moving down the front of the body, relax the forehead and your cheeks. Relaxing your jaw, maybe opening and closing it a few times. Relaxing your throat, your chest, your ribs, and your stomach. Letting your body get heavy. Relaxing the front of your legs. Relaxing the tops of your feet. Letting the front of the body get heavy. Moving on to the back. Relax the back of your head and the back of your neck. Adding in subtle movements to help you release if you need to. Relaxing the shoulders. Relaxing the front and backs of the upper arms, the fronts and backs of the lower arms, hands and fingertips. Relaxing your upper back, your middle back, and your lower back. Relaxing your bottom, the backs of your legs, and the soles of your feet. Letting the back of your body get heavy. Take 10 more breaths here. Letting your body breathe how it wants to. Keeping your eyes closed or downcast. Slowly start to bring your awareness back into the room, back to my voice. Noticing your feet on the floor, your bottom on your seat. Noticing your clothing on your skin. Breathing a little bit deeper now. Adding in some movement, maybe stretching the feet, stretching the hands and arms. And then slowly make your way up to sitting. We'll finish with a self hug on both sides. So when you're ready, take an inhale and open your arms up as wide as you'd like. Look up if it feels good. Exhale, wrap one hand, one arm over the other. Maybe you rock from side to side and tuck your chin into your chest. 
Tell yourself something kind that you need to hear. Keep breathing, and then when you're ready, inhale to open up. Exhale, switch arms on top. Tucking your chin again, keep breathing. Tell yourself something kind you need to hear here as well. And then when you're ready for your next inhale, inhale to open up. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Close your eyes again if it feels okay. Just take a moment here to find gratitude for your body and your breath. Take a moment to notice any subtle changes that you feel now that we're at the end of class compared to the beginning of class. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed class. Bring your thumbs to your forehead if you'd like. The light and love in me sees the light and love in you. Peace. Have a great day.